Hello, good day everyone and welcome again to one of our recorded Let's Play sessions here in Stellaris. This is the Fairy Archivist speaking. So we're now on our uh, 13th episode on our empire here which is UNS. Which is uh, in the Norfax Galaxy, an extragalactic uh, uh, version of humanity. Actually, they're from UNE, but uh, anyway. So the current president is, uh, well, uh, General Secretary is Claudia Becker. And uh, I think I probably have to correct the rational consensus. Um... Well, we could go for uh, Distinguished Admirality, might, uh, or Idealistic Foundations. Hmm, well, we could just replace this one, but of course we need all the science right now. So, uh, anyway, uh, this is a democratic uh, government, uh, which is from UNE. And for the year now is 2354. So the recent happenings was that we're currently in a war with the uh, old empire here, or a fallen empire here, which is the Uri Remnant. I'm not sure why it's called Higi Teal. Uh, probably there's some sort of error going on on my uh, gameplay right now. It's supposed to be uh, UNE, or it's supposed to be Fornax Union versus the uh, fallen empire. Uh, yeah, so uh, for the moment, I'll, I'm still planning to change this one to uh, Trade League, but I'm not getting any support right now. Uh, although most of my relationships with the other empires here are positive, uh, it seems that, um, uh, you know, you can't change it to uh, from a military alliance. It's supposed to be four nation. You should be either. Um, it's either could be a galactic union, or uh, preferably I prefer a trade league. Uh, but not a military alliance because uh, uh, you know a four nation union is supposed to be a mirror image of the European Union on old Earth. Anyway, let's uh, proceed now on our recorded mm -hmm. Let's Play here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're currently uh, on the recruitment mm -hmm. of... Uh, mm -hmm. Well, not actually recruitment. We're currently... Uh, more like uh, trying to absorb the uh, Uri Remnant. We just defeated their large fleet uh, on our last recorded Let's Play. So... Uh, all right. Um, System reconnaissance completed. Okay, let me check here. So, um, I'm now having uh, some sort of slowdown now because I'm probably having to view the whole galaxy. So, I think it's just a wise decision that I just made <coughs> the galaxy. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, uh, large galaxy, but not huge. All sword ground elements are dropping on target. Okay, so this is going to be a huge battle, uh, one six. Yeah, but anyway, my uh, armies will probably win with that one. Um, so yeah, uh, well, they're now offering a peace union, but we're not going to go with that. We're going to go for the um, uh, what do you call this? The military objectives. So I'll probably get this one as well, but uh, currently lack uh, even this one. I'll probably uh, I'll have to claim this later on. Oh, uh, this is unexpected. I was supposed to be claiming this one. Anyway, that's uh, not a big issue anyway. So. Uh, gonna be a huge battle. So far, uh, the bulk of my military forces is composed of uh, mercenaries from uh, the mercenary groups. Uh, I've got, out of the four mercenary groups, I got three under my uh, employee here, which is good in my case. Anyway, I am going to send my mercenary fleet here. 
so we need to at least get half and uh, actually this is good we just have to uh, you know uh, what do you call this <coughs> we would just have to uh, absorb Uri we're not one by one so they could develop this uh, you know this world that I will be occupying mm -hmm. But for now, I'm not happy. It's, they're just only giving me Berzun. I'm claiming their capital as well. Um, okay, what else? So, um... We probably have defeated their fleet. Uh, their fleet is just around 300,000. It's the space battle on Rexim, I guess. Oh no, we had a lot of losses there. So, uh, I, I think it's not Rexim. I think the largest space battle was Horshear or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah for the moment my uh, naval capacity is already reduced now to 927 out of 846 so which is pretty good um, that uh, exactly takes care of my uh, problems on naval capacity Okay, I'm gonna go on a forge world with this one. Um, okay, I'm just gonna take a look here if we've already engaging enemy station. Synthetic plants. Right. Hmm. Oh. God, they're back again. 200, uh, I don't know, 266 or uh, something like that. Okay, so it's gonna be a nasty fight, but okay, so uh, here we go. So we're just gonna take a look on the perception of our. Okay, let's take on this on the perception of the enemy. Oh god. Okay, so let's take a look on this one. Oh, sorry, I had to cough like that. Um, uh, anyway, um, okay, so it's a good uh, view here, uh, although my uh, gameplay is a bit slow. Anyway, I'll be needing that footage in case of a uh, storytelling mode. So yeah, it's gonna be a nasty battle between here and uh, as you can see my computer is already having a slowdown again. Well, probably after uh, my work, when I get back to the Philippines, I'll probably have to buy a Steam Deck. I always wanted to buy one uh, because I could play my PCs there and at the same time uh, replace my uh, aging Nintendo Switch. Okay, it seems that... Uh Alright, so... Uh
Okay, so I will, at least I could have a footage of at least that will last about 30 seconds and we're okay with that. We just needed the footage for our uh, story mode anyway. Okay, guess that's good enough. So the enemy here still has a fighting power of 211,000. Uh, but we got uh, our uh, mercenary fleets here. Um, the uh, two mercenary fleets to supplement that. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, so uh, I guess they have now synthetic crystal plants, which is. Uh, very much needed. I think I'll go for, um, it's either alloy processing plants, which we Space need, reports enemy contact. or kinetic batteries, but for me, I think I'll go for kinetic batteries. Okay, so just give me a moment here. Uh, I think I got a refinery world here, so this is gonna be... Uh, synthetic crystal plants. So, uh, yeah, New Mongolia is, uh, oh, uh, I think we'll just go for this one. Uh, anyway, that's okay. So, we're kind of reducing the battle here. Where's that old fleet? It's supposed to be 100. Uh, oh, 117. Okay, so we got 124,000. And we still got... Yeah, okay, we got three company fleets here. 71,112 and 118. So that's a very good uh, chance of uh, battling out from uh, local private armies. <coughs> Uh huh. Skate green stand. Oh my! Dragon spearhead just got lost. And where, where, where's this battle happened? Oh, Taporia. Oh, okay. So I guess our allied fleets from New Macau are currently, uh, you know, battling it out. So it's now reduced to 17,000. Yeah, they're mostly giving systems that systems that are uninhabited, and that's not gonna fly with me. Uh, with an extra delivery resource required for civilian client who defaulted on their payment. Okay, I guess they're too expensive that uh, they're having a hard time buying the uh, our mercenary force. Okay, um, New Macau can claim that. I'm not really interested with that thing anyway. Just need to take this one.
<laughs> okay, so all is doing well. So I just have to do this on the map. So yeah, um, this is, uh, I'll have, probably have to take a picture of this one when, when I'm doing a storytelling. <laughs> okay, so we got a lot of troop movement here. Uh, we already reduced our armed forces to 642, so uh, that's uh, well, that's a good thing. Okay. Okay, uh, General Nimer died. Oh my god, this is the one who's attacking me. Um, you know. Well, I guess uh, they were really tough. <laughs> okay, uh, what's this? Ah, oh, reinforcements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Sword One Actual reports all ground objectives secured. Oh god, it was so bloody that uh... Okay, we'll probably have to uh... Go and link up with this. Uh, okay, so I'll just have to wait at least uh, a month here just to claim the system. Fleet action underway. So uh, on the up is... Okay, so we've already completed this one. We got now ourselves a new ascension perk, which I'll have to choose. I could go for World Shaper. Uh, Galactic Force Projection is also a good thing. Hmm. R1 True Vision will be nice. Monthly Unity plus 10%. Uh, executive Vigor. We could go for Ecology Project. I'll check with a Toxic World here. Uh, let me check. Uh. Well, we definitely don't have a toxic world right now. Let me check here. I could swear I got a toxic world of somehow. Okay, uh, this is strange. Huh. Well, we could go for World Shaper. 
uh, we can transform anything into a Gaia world but uh, right now we need that uh, more like uh, um, oh, two additional building slots and uh, upgrading a space habitat oh, this is really hard to be honest Yes, the void. We could go for technological ascendancy or one vision. One vision seems to be okay. Yeah, Master of nature could uh says from planets is negative uh fifty. Yeah, we could go for an um, ecology project, uh, so we could, uh, um, you know, occupy a lot of worlds. But we could go for a ring world, to be honest. Yeah. Wait, just give me a moment here. I'll just uh, probably have to... Uh, Think about that later on. Hey, what's this? Oh, scientists. Okay, uh... Let's probably have to uh, get this guy. Uh, Ver Veronic Gagney or something. Yeah, this is something I could not find any um, any toxic worlds. Fleet lost. Ah, oh, great. Okay, we're now on the second fight. Okay, what's this? Uh, Lumidia chemical reports that a strange sickness has been spreading among the archaeologists on that board. The first confirmed cases shortly after a sealed chamber was opened for the first time with a large part of the team. The massive progress. Okay. Okay, just continue about continue your excavation. Uh, and for the third time, we defeated the uh, oh, crashing wave, but uh, they still suffered no. Um, uh, they're still not suffering from any uh, ship loss. Construction complete. Okay, what's this? <sighs> okay, so I probably will have to upgrade our um uh I don't know, we have to upgrade our uh, shipyard here to Citadel, I guess. Um, I think there should be orbital, uh... Yeah, okay.
orbital shield generator. Okay, uh, we'll just do the claims here. So we all have now. Uh, uh, I mean, almost the whole half of the uh, uh, Uri remnant is uh, currently being uh, claimed by the United Nations of Seoul. We have now able to build affluence in one of our planets. Oh, goody goody. Uh, right, this is good. Uh, we can now build an affluence center, which is... I probably have to build it on New Singapore or something. We have reverse engineered some of our old tech. Uh... Right, where's New Singapore here? Uh, where's New Singapore? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, this one is, um, it has a base upkeep of 25 energy operations. It produces 50 consumer goods. Well, this is something. Yeah, I think we're gonna replace that with Affluent Center. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me take on the capital of this one, and let me check what's... Okay, we get an affluent center. Oh, I should get some class 4 uh, singularity and auto forge and dimensional fabricator. But we're, get, we're, we're okay with that. Autocon, chemical plant, industries, energy grid. Okay, uh, I guess there wasn't much to offer on that one. <laughs> okay, so we're uh. Whew. Okay, so we can build an affluent center, but it's apparently just limited. You got no idea what's this one. Let's go for the claims. Mm -hmm. 
Jesus. Got now a hundred percent. Okay, I'm just gonna save this one because it's already 30 minutes now. And this is gonna be UNS episode 13A. So uh, there we go, and I'm just gonna save this on OBS. Okay, so we've uh, already saved that on our uh, OBS. I was not expecting that the war exhaustion would immediately hit the roof right now. And we have now, uh, unfortunately, 24 months to, uh, uh, you know, get this thing done. Um, oh, great. I'll uh, probably have to... Uh, I have to combine with this one uh, so let's see if it's already beginning to stage an attack so okay okay devastation is already 26% uh, probably the uh, Federation is uh, finding that oh god I've already most of my fleets have already been destroyed here and uh, the enemy is still 95,000 strong I, I have no idea why uh, right so where's my first uh, uh huh, where the hell is this one Okay, most of my, uh, well, this is the Federation fleet, but, uh, I guess my first UNS fleet has already been destroyed, from the looks of it. Uh, let me check. Um, it's a good thing that my, uh, oh yes, it did. Uh, huh. Okay, well, we'll probably have to, uh, you know, train a, a new, uh, uh, we still have a Corvette, uh, Corvette class, destroyers, uh, oh my. Well, it's supposed to be five. got uh, cruisers, 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 and then battleships. So uh, we should... Yeah, I guess that's uh, supposed to be the main uh, thing here. Where's my uh, fleet uh, manager here? Okay, so most of my fleet here has already been uh, destroyed. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, let me check my uh, fleets here.
Talking language with the Politi of... Yeah, okay. Okay, they've already destroyed the Parry Corsairs. Which is... Uh, on October 8, 2355. In the relief of all galaxies, they've destroyed the last of the uh, Marauders. Which is good. Okay, I don't have my uh, fort, my mercenary fleets here apparently. Inbound message traffic. Uh, I kind of hold on to that. So I had no idea that my, uh, my, uh, uh, what do you call this? My military forces were uh, almost obliterated on that one. And I didn't even notice. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, that was a big surprise on my part. Why the... Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, that, that's why I don't go for automation. Always happens. Uh, New Canada. Supposedly New Canada's... Uh, Should be uh, changed, I guess. All right, so the Right, this is uh just gonna replace this one. I didn't notice that uh, uh great. Just 
So we don't have the Fornex Federation fleet or the Fornex Union. Okay, well, let's proceed. Um, probably have to press this on forward. Mm. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Okay, I'm just gonna do Fornex Union Fleet. Okay, uh, I'll probably have to redirect all of my uh, forces here. This is really a big mess. Uh, currently, okay, for next Union Fleet. Oh my god, we got a lot of uh, errors here that I had to correct. I have no idea why my uh, AI is just dumb when it comes to me, but when it comes to the computer, they're kind of pretty smart. God, I got so many...
Okay, I guess that was much easier. I just press and hold shift button. And, uh... Let's go. Okay, dragon spear head and clay. Well, good. Good. We did grant us a small additional fleet. So, uh, the water is really, uh, dragging right now. Airheart located. We'll just have to wait with this one. Okay, I just got some uh... Alright, so uh... Okay, let's uh, proceed with this one. Sorry, I was distracted a few moments ago. I was uh... Okay, uh... Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, we're building up our Federation fleet here. It's kinda nice. Uh, they're now converging here just to battle this one. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, in the meantime, where's my uh, first fleet here? Oh, 29th fleet. Okay, uh, this is, uh, where's my 29th fleet? 
Wait, I just have to, um... Okay, Yumi Yamazaki has been uh, promoted. So, uh... Just I'll do. Um, okay, so I just have to locate the 29th fleet uh, out of the rest here. Um, uh, it should be... Ah, okay, we're not, uh... Okay, Yume Yamazaki will be the first one. Um, uh, and this will be the first UNS fleet. So, it's, uh, main shipyard will be Rekyo. What's this? Uh, Fire Kingdom is Cyber Manifold. So, uh, the superpowers here is the Fire Kingdom, Cyber Manifold, and us. So, there are three superpowers right now in the Fornax Galaxy. Okay, we're building up a lot of, uh, you know. Oh, Jesus. Ground forces are dropping on target. I know it's Union Fleet. Great, this was a... Uh... Spaceport lost to enemy action. Where's my mercenary fleet when you need them? Pretty sure my mercenary fleet is out here somewhere. Or uh, they just got eliminated as well. Well, we're renting their. F oh! Stellar Nation Pikikiti is already renting our fleet. Cow is already renting our fleet. What the hell? Why my fleet has just been... I think I just got sabotaged by uh... By the AI. They just probably recalled my uh, mercenary fleet here. Yeah, I did not see that, that I was being sabotaged. Anyway... That's okay, um... Okay, uh, I'll probably win with this one. I just... You know, that's the thing I hate about Stellar. Sometimes the uh, computer here willingly does sabotage my gameplay. I suspect that most of my uh, mercenary fleets here have been recalled by another nation. A so, uh, has been secured as for our colonists. Result, as, a, as an end result... Science Division report success. Uh, you know, as an end result, my uh, naval Battle capacity secured. just drastically dropped. So, uh... Yeah, that's the thing. I, uh... Anyway, we got Dark Matter Reactors now. Um, and Dark Matter Shields. The objective has been completed anyway. With Chile on the back system, basically this will be a fortress, uh... This is gonna be a fortress world. Kinda really hated it. So, uh... I just really hated it when, uh... Uh, the computer here intentionally sabotages my gameplay. Probably that's the reason why uh, most of my uh, mercenary fleets here are missing. And how come the Pikiti is already renting three of my fleets? Uh, see? Uh, yeah, see? Three of my fleets are being rented by the Pikiti. The hell? 
they don't need that sleep for. Uh, I'm gonna recall this one. The new Macau is already renting our fleet. Well, we. We want you to recall your fleet. 200 influence points just to recall my fleet. What the hell? Okay, so I guess that's the problem with the mercenary fleets. Uh, the computer here sometimes can uh, sabotage your gameplay. Mm -hmm. I was not uh, expecting that the bulk of my uh, mercenary forces here have just been recalled by my ally. So leaving my, uh, you know, leaving just only the Federation fleet here. Leaving only my Federation fleet and my... Uh, uh, my uh, normal regular fleet uh, vulnerable so uh, this is basically annoying because uh, the computer intentionally sabotaged my uh, gameplay here what the hell this is really really stupid Wait, wait, wait. Let me see who's renting my fleet again. The Prikikiti Stellar Nation of Prikikiti. So this guys. Well, they're loyal, uh, but I'm gonna obliterate this goddamn. This is how. Yeah, that's the thing about computers. They intentionally sabotage my gameplay. Anyway, I'm not gonna pull it back. I just need to hold the line here. Uh, oh yeah, take point. Kinda stupid to be honest. <sighs> it ended up in a disaster because the uh, stellar nation of Kiki Kitty just recalled my fleet and now I can't recall it because uh, I need 200 influence points. I have no idea why most of my uh, cohesion is negative. Hegemonic imperialist. What? What the hell? Hegemonic imperialist. Uh, I'm starting to think that my. Uh, Computer, even though my allies are uh, uh, uh. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh. 
I'm just gonna save this one and rethink over my situation here because uh, this took me really by surprise. I was not expecting that the computer would uh, sabotage me again, even on e or even on uh, normal mode. <laughs> I mean, I was avoiding the hard mode not because I am not I lack the skill. I was avoiding the hard mode because. Uh, of uh, the computer intentionally cheating on my uh, gameplay but it turns out even the uh, normal settings here in Stellaris uh, it turns out that the computer is also cheating I mean what the hell so uh, anyway I'll just have to think this out for a moment Okay, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got my brain freeze. Anyway, hello, welcome back everybody, and uh, uh, thanks for that uh, refreshing break that we had. <laughs> sorry, uh, it was so refreshing that my brain freeze. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, okay, I'm not gonna giggle right now. So, uh, okay, uh, it took me quite a while to think on what, on how to outmaneuver this. Um, of course, we still have some active uh, mercenaries here. The Dragon Spearhead, which is uh, basically the new Macau, our, uh, our uh, vassal state here, an independent vassal state. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's the thing. So, for the moment, I'll probably have to redirect all of my all available Federation fleets here. Um, currently, uh, my uh, ships here are being littered with uh, all sorts of ships. Okay. Uh, but I'll probably have to uh, divert most of them. Anyway, um, we have here. First UNS fleet. Okay, so we'll just uh, continue on what we're left off. Uh, there's nothing much I could do here. What's this? Peace offer from when we time down. Okay, we auto decline. Yeah, we could submit it anytime we want. Uh, we already have 74, but I don't think that the terms of white peace here are very uh, fair on my part. Uh, Okay, I'll just uh, put an admiral here or a general. Uh, we'll go Nikolai Turganev. Um, and armies here. So there's still currently battle going on here. And uh, yeah, I'll probably have to. Uh, uh, get that thing anyway. So for now, my uh, scientist here is continuing to reverse engineer the, uh, you know, they're continuing to reverse engineer the, uh, what do you call this? Um, uh, this uh, debris here. We're already researching on the dark matter generator or a dark matter reactor, which is very essential. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Um, we'll probably go off our naval capacity. It takes about 45 months. Uh, we'll go for a uh, the subterranean colonization so we can remove tile blockers it only anyway it only takes six months so uh, at the moment there's still heavy fighting going on here uh, right Uh, 
Yeah, I'll probably go for uh, make this one at least uh, um, uh, I probably need I probably establish a pseudo republic here or something I have to uh, you know uh, piece by piece take out this uh, empire Okay, I'm just gonna reroute all my remaining uh, uh, ow. Okay, that was bad. Okay. Speaking of which, I might uh, I might try to um, uh, what do you call this? I might try to uh, maybe take the uh, genetic ascension perk if it's possible. So uh, I'm just gonna finish my uh, rallying all my uh, federation troops here. Okay. Uh, Okay, we'll just go rally them here. Or uh, probably rally them here. Oh, great. Or here, perhaps. Ah, oh, great. Just have to rally them here. Okay, that's supposed to be good. Okay, uh... Okay, for Ascension Perks, I'll, uh, oh. Okay, Traditions, um, well, I'm sure, oh, we are not even, uh, Genetic Purification, Gene Tailoring, okay, we don't have Gene Tailoring right at the moment. We could go for World Shaper, uh, turn them to Gaia Worlds. It would be more, uh... Yeah, I, we could go for Gaia Worlds anyway. Um... Okay, um... Well, uh, we probably have to get the Planet Generator here. Sanctuary, uh, yeah, probably have to replace some of this because I have to micromanage. Uh, yeah, I really hate this one. This, uh, um, really hate it when I have to micromanage something here because sometimes the computer messes up a lot of stuff here. Um, what do we have here? Um, okay, we'll probably go for Otokyon Monument, but uh, yeah, I guess that'll do. Uh, Otokyon Man uh, Monument. It adds um, culture workers turn consumer goods into unity, amenities, and pop housing, so that's about three. And level capacity and governing ethics attraction. So, Otok, uh, sorry, Otokitan monument is essential. So, we're just gonna go for uh, Otokitan monument here. Um, 
Wow, oh, we got a monument. Uh, okay, so we got gas, crystals, um, New Amsterdam. So what else could we add? Um, uh, right. Uh, how about a dreadnought? Uh, I mean a dreadnought. Of course, this is... Uh, but I'm going to add a Tokyotan just to boost up my naval capacity here. Kinda need that. Hmm. Okay, uh, we got. Uh, hmm. Well, we'll go for your dread encampment. So uh, this one we'll go for a Tokyotan. Sorry. Oh, we all we already have one. Okay. How about uh, synthetic crystal plants? In Australia. Um, okay. Well, this is a mining world, so uh, uh, we need an Tokyotan. Sorry, but we need those. Uh, I'll talk it on first. So that we could boost our naval capacity, unity bonus, uh, stuff like that, all the good stuff. Uh, same goes here. Lebanon. Okay, we got. Um, uh, okay, well, we could add dread. Uh, I see. I have no idea why. Uh, we could go for Gaia worlds anyway. Yeah, I guess we could go for Gaia worlds. Mm -hmm. For now, we're just gonna set up our uh, Takiton monuments to add uh, naval capacity, governing ethics, uh, top housing usage reduction. So it's very useful. Uh, uh, from the looks of it, it's very useful. Uh, oh, we already got a Takiton. Okay, uh, I don't know what to do with this one. Oh, we'll just go for refineries or something. Uh, yeah, we'll go for chemical. Uh, uh, we'll go for. Um, <coughs> so hopefully, um, my. Uh, Oh, we got commercial zones. Wait, this is a commercial zone. Okay, we'll, we'll just keep that for one. I've got a Tokyoton. Uh, right, this is 12. Um, we could go for... Oh, this is a refinery one. So it's already designated for a refinery, so... Chemical gas. Uh, this one, um, we could go for a refinery or something, but uh, yeah, we could designate this one as a refinery world. Um, Suez would be Yeah, so we're gonna uh, you know, go full trial with the Atakitan monuments here. Not gonna hold back. Because uh, we need them. Okay, so I guess that's... Uh, so let's go. <laughs> so that should give us a big boost on our naval capacity and... Uh, other uh, stuff that we need here. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go Eyes of Cyan or something.
So in case uh, our general here goes an idea. I would like to purchase the service, of course. Goodbye. So a Takitan monument and probably a, you know, a silo uh, would be nice. So this is industrial. Uh, Battle debris secured. Yeah, I probably go for commercial. Uh, okay, we'll just go with the refinery here or something. Uh, yeah, I think I could go for off for uh, a Gaia world. Might need that. <coughs> uh, but first, we need to uh, uh, what do you call this? Get this relic world. So. Uh, yeah, I think it's a Gaia world, since we... Oh, we could go for uh, technology, ascendancy, or true vision, but... Or imperial prerogative would also be nice, because it uh, reduces the uh, empire penalty here to negative 50%. So we could be having uh, a lot more, uh, we could go for ecology if we're gonna go for militarize. But, 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 uh, I think we'll go for Gaia world, sorry. But, uh, I think, uh, it's about time we turn, uh, everything into a Gaia. So, uh, we'll just terraform. Uh, okay, we don't have ecological ad adaption. Okay, that was my bad. So we'll just terraform this one to a Gaia world, which is good on our case. Same goes with this one. Oh wait, Gaia. World. So yeah, um, officially we'll just just turn all uninhabited planets into a Gaia world. Uh, so that everybody and anyone throughout the UNS is uh, open and welcome for immigration. Or at least that's what I think about it. Mm. Okay, so we're just gonna go uh, terraform some stuff here to Gaia Worlds. Okay, hey, that should be enough. So, uh, we're gonna be a free haven. Okay, so I guess that's, uh, we get to go with that one. Um, yeah, okay. So, we got several Gaia worlds. Uh, so, tradition wise, we just only got three left. Uh, probably uh, want to go with the uh, galactic wonders but we already got uh, actually just for uh, and uh, master builders but we can't get master builders I think we we'll go for Colossus or uh, well we go go for master builders that uh, I mean galactic wonders and uh, the rest I'm not sure if I'm going to go for Imperial prerogative <laughs> Which would be uh, very good. Edix fund would be also nice. So we won't have any penalties here. <laughs> uh, encourage free political thought. Oh, Jesus. Station reports enemy contact. Yeah. Okay, uh, that is the problem right now. The UNS Fleet 31,000. Uh, 
Uh, it's gonna end up that we're not, we haven't accomplished anything here. We'll go for an attack run here. Fortress Initiative just got itself. Uh, okay, so uh, we're gonna attack here by a strength. First Uranus fleet will have to uh, get reinforced. Uh, oh, great. Went off the radar. What the hell was that? Okay, we'll just have to uh, do some reverse engineering here. Yeah, my offer just got reduced. Uh. <laughs> Hopefully they will follow us here. Um. Okay. Okay. Ah, this is more complicated. Uh -huh. Well, we did go get Torpolia. Oh, yeah. Oh, goody goody. They're now battling at each other. Uri Remnant versus the new Macau. Okay, the battle of, uh, I don't know. So yeah, we're just gonna trash this one. Alright, that is what I call a good alliance. That is... Okay, together with the United Fleets of, uh, Fornax Union, they are now engaging the enemy. We love ya. Okay, this is a good, uh, you know, this is a good video. Although it's a bit choppy because, uh, of course, my, uh, I guess my PC is not really that uh, good nowadays. But, uh, yeah, we can have an alliance here. Uh, mercenary fleets, our uh, Bergy uh, vassals, and of course our uh, very own uh, UNS uh, fifth fleet uh, engaging on the battle. So uh, yeah, oh god, they got lasers or something. Oh, uh, well, at least, at least I got the, cine the cinematography right here with this one. That, with us, that is a good, uh, you know, in-game uh, gameplay. Alright. Yeah, I think I'll probably write this one uh, as uh, good games. I mean, a good, uh, you know, a uh, very good... Uh, uh, you know, scene, battle scene. Okay. Okay, I guess that's a good scene now. Uh, that's enough. So, uh, New Macau, our fleet is 63,000. We're just gonna reduce them. It's more than enough with the combined fleet here, as long as we, uh, you know, work together. Uh, the Fornax Union fleet works together. In fact, even the Midfell uh, fleet here is joining the trade. Considering that a uh, hundred years ago, uh, they were neck to neck at each other. <clears throat> Which is kind of funny. 
Well, uh, story-wise, the Crown Prince, uh, you know, gave its word anyway. Or, uh, what do you call this? An honor system. For the moment, uh, we'll just sell this one. So we're uh, currently in the project now of making all UNS worlds a Gaia world for uh, every species uh, in the Fornax Union Galaxy. I mean, for the Fornax Galaxy, fit for every species of uh, every known form of life in the Fornax Galaxy. So uh, basically, uh, yeah, the UNS is your traditional good guys, but they're not a hundred percent good guys. They may have some uh, decisions that are very controversial, but still, in general, uh, uh, they're uh, mostly the good guys. Uh, at least, mostly the good guys. Okay, so uh, can you imagine uh, several uh, vassal fleets here? Although uh, they still think of us, uh, they still think the UNS is hegemonic uh, imperialist. So uh, we're okay with that. But uh, most of it, uh, it's mostly positive. Except for the Polygon Hori Guardian, which kinda hates us, but they, that's still considered neutral. And the Storm Rider Hype Fleets. <coughs> So uh, we don't like hive minds probably because, well, the uh, Brethren Swarm is a hive mind, the one that uh, made mankind exile from the, or, yeah, the man that, uh, the Xenos that made humankind an exile in the Fornax. <coughs> to be, uh, yeah. So uh, the UNS has uh, probably a distaste for uh, hive minds. In the meantime, the battle on the core is neck to neck with Nikolai Turgenev uh, taking over the uh, general that got killed during heavy fighting. Okay, well, that's a good. Okay, uh, so, um, construction the UNS complete. fleet headed by this uh, psychic ratchet or rat uh, basically won. So, we're just going to uh, put this one in Osculum Shipyard as their main base. So for now, we're finishing the Autokyon uh, monument so that we could, uh, you know, get a big ump on our uh, naval capacity here. Meanwhile, uh, oh well, we're still 38 months away, so it's very complex. So reverse engineering the dark matter would take some time. Show us your wares. Um, one signed ship. Okay, fine deal. Uh, that's not a big deal. We could just sell them the uh, old science ship that we have. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's... Oh, great. Uh, it just so happens that the... Ah, uh, oh, great. Probably have to uh, be assigned a new one. Oh, okay. My, my bad. How about Vision? Thank Science you. Division report uh, success. Even even Batuta will be the uh Okay, we just cleared up that tile blocker. 
that shouldn't be a uh, chemical bliss star risk capacity hypercoms yeah okay go for hypercoms follow mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I have no idea why my uh, federation is negative 50 so it eats up influence okay Tries to be the strong inbound message traffic. I don't know. Well, they're pacifists, but they're an authoritarian. Uh, we kind of decline that. We're, we're not, uh, I'm not sure if the Feller um, Kingdom is open yet to that. And honestly, I don't want to open my immigration uh, status because uh, there's always. Uh, humans getting be, being sold on the slave market so we're not uh, yeah I have to uh, okay uh, oh, right, uh, set rights uh, immigration controls in you okay as long as they're well we'll go for utopian abundance plus one upkeep for Academic privilege. Well, we could go for utopian uh, abundance. Uh. So yeah, we're we're okay with that. Uh -huh. For now, we're still stuck with the old reactor here. Um, <laughs> oh, well, the new my uh, apologies for that. For our colonists. Okay, so this will be the UNS, uh, I just have to say this one, UNS episode 13C, there we go, and I have to save this one on OBS. Okay, there we go, so we're now moving for the final 30 minutes of our recorded Let's Play for uh, this one. Uh, Science Division report success. So hopefully, uh, okay, admin world, uh, yeah, okay, uh, we'll just... Give me a moment here to designate this one. Uh, admin world. Okay, I want to terraform this, but uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Um, we go for precincts. We go for Halley's and then gene clinics, and then uh, okay, um, unification center. Okay, uh, well, how many we got? Three city districts, okay, and then the rest is industrial. Uh, we'll remove this deep sinkhole. Admin world, so, um, okay, uh, oh, I got a new name, New Britannia. New, no, um, ah. <sighs> How about New Denmark? No, it's supposed to be a uh, desert. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, I just have to think. Uh, New Bahrain, yeah. Uh, ba Bahrain. Okay, well, yeah, that's a good name. Okay, so New Bahrain is 
how new to buy uh, I mean uh, okay uh, we got the resource capacity silos plus 5,000 planetary build speed you can go for dark matter to fosters which uh, speeds up but planetary build speed and empire size district would be uh, oh god there's so many good options here and uranium armor okay it's either this one okay planetary build so we got a little bit of a resources there so mm -hmm. good and then we can go for dark matter thrusters later on we're not exactly in a hurry So how is the ground war doing? Well, bloody as usual. Uh, can't blame them. Well, I can't blame them. Those boys got it rough. gonna go for an uh, uh we're gonna go build our and expand here <laughs> unfortunately I'm not so sure why uh, well, we'll probably have to change our diplomatic stance now, um, just not to get the misunderstandings. So our diplomatic stance now will not be expansionist, but more on cooperative. Diplomatic weight and envoy relations plus 50. And border friction is negative 50. Okay, yes. Okay, so that will be our uh, new uh, repackaging of our... Uh, League. Will support us. Okay, uh, failed bubble is so negative. Okay, and nobody wants uh, to be a f trade. Uh, nobody wants it to be a trade league. They want it more to be a military alliance of sorts. So okay. F oh God, who got killed? Oh, Eyes of Sea just got killed. From uh, 156 Command Expeditionary Force, yeah. Okay, okay so well, at least it's still Nikolai Turga Turgenev still in charge. Taking evasive action. Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll probably let this one go for a while. Uh, well, we only get one planet in five systems. Uh, not a very promising, to be uh, honest. One. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, okay, fine, we'll just, nah, I think we'll just, uh, okay, we'll just, uh, okay, goody goody. It's a good thing that the, uh, Commonwealth of Prikikiti, oh, I'm not sure if they're, uh, you know, but the Holy Terrassian fleet is... Um, okay, well, we'll just uh, let them. The UNS fleet here will have to race its uh, okay, 
Okay, so this is gonna be a long dragging war anyway. I'll talk it down one moment. Uh, probably have to uh, set this one uh, with the resource silo. So, um, yeah, resource silos capacity plus five, so uh, that's a good thing. Um, let me check. Uh, resource silo storage capacity is five, so that will be 10,000 each after this. Uh, after uh, this is finished, so that'll uh, put our uh, storage capacity to uh, <coughs> you know uh, a big ump again. So the Uri Remnant fleet has been damaged beyond repair on their capacity here. So we got five systems here. Um, <laughs> okay, so where's my fifth fleet? Supposed to be in here. So our uh, population size for our demographics, uh, of course uh, a large percentage is still human, but uh, oh, pop boat speed is plus 30%, uh, yeah so we're kind of, you know, building a huge uh, pops, yeah we got some Gaia worlds anyway. Construction complete. All right, goody goody. And we're going to go here and uh, get ourselves. Honestly, we could go for an output, but it's 127. Oh, Jesus, relics. Yeah, okay, so they just... Yeah. Okay, worst part is that we don't have any nearest uh, fleet here, so I'll just probably have to send my... Uh... Yeah, they're probably disrupting trade lines. Because there's this is the only way in and only way out. One unit here is supposed to be a mining world, but uh, okay, fine. Okay, we got. Well, the good thing about this is that the, uh, you know, our alliance fleet here, or the four next union fleets, are very cooperative. In fact, if they're so cooperative, they don't even need to have. Uh, uh, yeah, can you imagine the uh, Commonwealth of Prikikiti here? Or uh, you know, even joining the fight? And uh, even the uh, Holy Terrasian Foundation is joining in the fray as well. Which is kind of weird. So it's a three fleets against one. Uh, okay, so I'll just like to see how this one fares. This is the Holy Terrassian fleet. Uh, oh, they're already deploying their uh, fighters here. 
Oh, speaking of which, uh, let me check my ship designs. I, I should have upgraded my uh, fighters for the battleship. Uh, clear design and then auto complete. Yeah, we, we just have to replace this one. And uh, this one will probably have to be an armor. And uh, it's supposed to be a reactive armor. And a uh, reactive shield hardener. And this one's not gonna be artillery. Okay, that should do the trick. Yeah, okay, so they're only offering broadside artillery stern. We go for artillery anyway. Okay, who died? Oh, bruh. Okay, Nikolit. Okay, so I guess um, Nikolai died as well, so our general will always get picked out. Not a very good sign, honestly. Uh huh. Okay, probably I need to, uh, you know, do a massive recruitment for the uh, army, I guess. Um, right, uh, probably pick five. Two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Uh, we'll probably go with Assault Army. Um, okay, we're gonna go Lazarus Project with a Prickety. Which is kinda funny. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna deploy you. Uh, I'm not really comfortable using uh, robots. Check on the population here. This is supposed to be oh, okay. Okay, uh Should do the trick. Ok, 
Okay, so that's a lot of armies that are being raised right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, four, five. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna have to go uh, one more time with this. Um, Okay, playing Terry Admin, I guess. So we can't just modify the Atakian movement right away after being constructed. Um, still needs a planetary uh, administration, I guess. Okay, so I guess that's uh, pretty much on the management. Okay, well, I'll just go let my uh, Fornax Union members deal with the uh, with the Uri remnant here. Right. Uh, huh. Okay, uh, it has a high casualty rate. <laughs> right, uh, 53, so it's at least uh, four short years of battle. Okay, we're, we're good with that. Oh, great. Got the uh, space amoeba here. 
uh, space amoeba mother bubbles which is basically uh, her offspring is a template for the uh, UNS uh, fly, uh, aircraft carriers yeah, I'm just gonna name this one bubbles bubbles class save so uh delete this one so we got the bubbles class and the uh, uh, Icarus class yeah. right so I guess our uh, We got a super clamp right here. <coughs> hmm. Drive and associate. Yeah, okay. Uh, we kind of missed this one out. But uh, let's see our diplomatic stance with these guys. We could open our borders with them. For all, well, they're kind of friendly. They seem to be reasonable enough. Okay, so three of our uh, fleets here just simply uh, defeated these guys. Okay, I'll uh, probably have just to check my um, mining station lost to enemy action. Hmm. Okay, that's no surprise. <laughs> oh, we got the stingray. Construction complete. Okay, he got himself killed. Admiral 1 Perez died at age 88. We go right to the canal. Okay, Tigria is basically. could go for communications jammer or disruption field but I'll go for disruption field Okay, so uh, we're just only uh, five more minutes left. Uh, uh, yeah, well, we got the core. already finished
Okay, that will be for next Union Fleet. That's the official designation. Or we could just. Well, Ima, daughter of Milti, would be nice. She's a sidekick, but I like to. Uh, okay, we'll just go for our, our racket. Okay, um, someone is, like I said, uh, selling humans again. Okay, we'll just buy them with New Singapore. Let's continue. Whew, well, this is a very long fight. Um, <laughs> okay, so this has found a completely developing in some kind of energy barrier attempts of mining. Okay, let's break this one for science. Break this one for science. So for now, we're going to create. Um, we're gonna go create some immigration here. Um, some Uri. Uh, um, we'll go for New Singapore. New Singapore. We're gonna evacuate the humans first. Because I don't want them to be sell as slaves. Oh my, uh, it's almost time. Okay, I'm just gonna go, uh, you know. Okay, New Singapore. Uh, humans will have to be. But uh, we don't want this. Uh... Okay, we're just gonna create this one uh, and uh, create a new republic here. Then we're gonna go have this one for ourselves. Okay. Um... Plants and sectors. We'll create a vassal. Um, Uri Republic. The Uri Republic. So, yeah, they will be our vassal. Excellent. So, they will be probably be a bulk court or something. Cost of research or scholarship. Well, we can go for bulk work. Yeah, I think we could afford them. Oh, they're okay with that. Uh, integration prohibited. Restricted voting. Oh yeah, restricted voting. Let's 
expansion permitted. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go with this one. Okay, uh, unfortunately we only got uh, influence points is 18 Okay, uh, that's good in the sense so for now, uh, we'll probably have to negotiate with the uh, agreement with them, but they're loyal. Okay, um, anyway, it's already 30 minutes, so I'll uh, probably have to save this one. So this will be the conclusion of our UNS episode 13D. And uh, before I save this and uh, log off, thank you for watching my recorded Let's Play. Uh, I don't really know how much to uh, thank you for, you know, having the patience and watching all of my recorded Let's Plays. So, uh, again, have a great day, everyone, and see you around on next time. Bye-bye for now.